you? I just got through watering the lawn and taking care of a little business, walking the dog and all that kind of stuff. And I just thought that I'd step in the office here and just say it. I am sick of it. I'm sick of looking at the news and every time I turn it on, they're talking about Michael Jackson. I mean, come on, man. One person died. And of an overdose? Taking some kind of drug? Having a physician in the house? Everybody's talking about this guy. I know that he was a musical icon. I know it. Same thing happened when James Brown died, when Ray Charles died. What I'm asking is a very simple question here, especially for the Christian community. How did the guy live? What was his life all about? I mean, really, was he the kind of person that you like to spend time with your children, your 11 and 12 year old sons? Come on, be real with me. You know, I'm sick of everybody crying about Michael being dead. Everybody on this planet is going to be dead within 100 years. Within 100 years, none of us will be here. Who do you think they're going to be talking about? Some black guy that was a backwards dancer that spinned around that probably bleached his skin, had plastic surgery to sharpen his nose because he didn't like his features. A black guy that, uh, well, they said he was a father, but can that really be proven? It wasn't through regular gojitas, obviously. A black guy that had a lot of problems, just like the black guy that's in the White House got a lot of problems. What's wrong with us? Have we lost our ever-loving minds? And then we call ourselves Christians. As for me, I'm pretty sick of it. No, I will probably won't watch any more of the news, but I'll watch the funeral to see if any so-called Christians will show up and put in their two cents. And for you pastors that are thinking about preaching your Sunday sermon using some thriller themes, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. This is Pastor John in Los Angeles, the city where the guy died saying, Get a life. Get a cotton-picking life. Do you know how many people are in the L.A. morgue right now that died and you don't even know their names? Come on. Get up out of this insanity. Just thought I'd wait. house